Hello everybody! I know this camera angle is kind of weird, but I wanted to talk with you guys. Before I get too far into this video, I have to apologize. The dogs are going crazy, barking. Uh, it doesn't make a difference if we have them inside or out, so we're letting them out right now to go to the bathroom, to eat their breakfast. Uh, we had a very long night of fireworks going off. Wendy, our feral pig, and her babies that are also grown up feral. They're very afraid of the fireworks. We had fireworks go on the entire night last night. And then it seems once we got a break from the fireworks, everybody has decided it's New Year's Day. Let's shoot off our guns. So I promise you we're not tormenting the dogs. They actually have some anxiety medication on board. But they do need to go to the bathroom and they need to eat and they're going to bark inside regardless. So uh, we're letting them get some fresh air. Uh, this is a new video series we're starting called Sunday Sneak Peek. One of the things I struggle with during the week is trying to show you guys or tell you guys about everything going on. Because it's just Dan and I here with our three kids. We have... Uh, a few regular volunteers that come uh, throughout the month on different regular days for them. But the day-to-day, -day, the vetting appointments, the food pickups, the donation putting away, or putting away donations, um, collecting donations, going and picking up donations, uh, giving tours, all the day-in and day-out stuff that goes into not just running a sanctuary, but actually fulfilling our promise to the animals of giving them a great life is on Dan and I most of the time. So I'm not the best videographer. I'm not very comfortable on camera. Some of the videos I try to get of myself um, working with the animals just come out really terrible with poor lighting or my butt is covering the entire thing. Um, and I'm just not really comfortable posting videos that way. So. Uh, this is something Dan and I, we're going to start. Sunday sneak peek. It's the first Sunday of the month. Meow Meow is climbing out the window behind me. But, uh, we just wanted to have a way to check in with you guys weekly and maybe hopefully convey more of the things we're doing here that are not always obvious. Um, so we'll still share with you guys what's going on during the week as it's happening. We thought it would be good instead of doing a recap, just give a, um, share our schedule with you a little bit. So, it's the first of the month. Thank you to everyone that signed up for Patreon, PayPal, Gift Butter, all of our monthly giving platforms. Uh, those payments are processing right now. They'll deposit into our bank account. And first thing tomorrow, we get to go pay our entire feed store balance that we owe to Begs and start our new balance for January. We're going to be picking up um, one ton of pig food. We also have to get some cow food. Uh, we're good on goat pellets because we just got half a pallet of their Timothy Hay pellets. Um, and we're trying to figure out ordering our preferred chicken food through bags. It's a little bit more affordable that way versus chewy. Um, but we're trying to find out how much we need to order to get the bulk discount and if we have room to store that amount here at the sanctuary. Um, so it'll be great to clear out that, that balance with bags and start a new month and have plenty of food. We put out a, um, we put out a post yesterday asking if anybody would contribute to buying our special pig food that we buy. We feed the majority of our pigs um, a all stock pellet that has worked for 90% of them. 10% of them need a little bit more nutritional supplementation. We of course give fresh fruits and vegetables, but we also found a mini pig specific pellet that works really well that we're able to put in um, pig sandwiches to give extra calories, but it's also a feed that we feed in a bowl with water as an extra meal to those pigs. It does run a little bit more expensive, it's a little over a dollar a pound, um, and 10% of 350 is still almost 40 pigs. So uh, we go through quite a lot of it. We were able to order five bags last night and I think a few more 
donation notifications have come in from Chewy that some other folks went onto our Chewy wish list and purchased that for Lenape and all of our other special needs pigs. So thank you very much. We still owe a balance at the animal hospital. Um, honestly, our entire feed store balance is going to use up all of our January sponsorship funds available. Um, but I'm hoping, I don't know, we're, we're going to figure it out. Maybe Dan and I can squeeze something out on one of our credit cards. Um, we've been trying really not to do that because we're trying to put down our first payment to a contractor for our house. But um, either way, the animals are going to have what they need regardless. But if by some chance you missed us asking uh, to help relieve our 2022 medical debt and want to help us pay off that last four or $500, we'd be super appreciative. Um, of course, all the donation information and how to make a donation is on our website. Um, there was so much to talk about, but I'm seeing that I'm already at six minutes. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this video to load. So, what I'm actually going to do, I don't want to make it so long that it won't upload onto the internet for anyone to even see this, so I wasn't just talking to myself the whole time. So, what I'm going to do, I have my whole list of things to cover for the week. I was like, I'm going to tell them everything that we're doing. Um, I'm going to type it up as a post and try to make it as simple as possible and not have you reading uh, a huge, you know, 300-page novel. Um, and I'm going to make it a Patreon post so our Patreons get notified of it, our sponsors get notified of it, but I'll make it a public post. So if you're interested in figuring out about or listening to what I was sharing with you all about uh, where we stand with the gravel and the mulch that we're bringing in, um, some of the cleaning we're doing this week. We got a new washer and dryer donated, so we're getting all of that figured out. Um, we're even exploring gray water recycling and getting ready for a new gardening season. Uh, last week we started deworming everybody for their semi-annual uh, deworming schedule. We dewormed 90 pigs last week. And we have the rest of, of the pigs to, to do. Okay. And also coordinating with our vet to boost our rabies vaccines and make sure everyone's good on their annual vaccines. There was so much more and I still keep talking. I'm sorry. So, um, wanted to give you guys an update on the mule since we had gotten the meat and we were trying to figure out if the mule was going to be fixed or whatnot. We also made some updates to the website. It's not completely finished yet, but we're making progress there. By we, I mean me. Uh, but I did have someone offer to help, so I'm hoping to connect with them in the next week and see if we can get all that we want to do finished up. And I keep getting questions about tours and volunteering, so I'm going to put all this information, uh, explain it all, go more in depth in a Patreon post, because I just went on for another two minutes, but... If you made it this far, thank you so much. Uh, I hope everyone had a great New Year's Eve, and your New Year's is off to a great start. We'll talk to you later.